Hello all, in today's video we're going to do something fun. It's you know, September already of this expansion and for those who may not know, Ankhman's Keep Raid, Prisoner's Raid, can be done a different way. Um, so basically like 95%, 99% of the player force usually kills Navolta first, but you could kill Swarm first and that changes the raid um, a good amount. and Last night, my guild decided to, hey, let's see what happens. Uh, we never did it before, so we went in a little bit cautious. Um, and we, we I'm going to show you, basically. So it's quite interesting. And I think it's going to be good for some guilds um, that struggle with movement. So we're going to take a look at that in a second. All right, so let's look. So last night, um, as I said, we started the event. And... Sworn is first. I'm going to put this at twice the speed and probably skip around so this way it uh, doesn't get so monotonous. Alright, so here I am. We start the event. Basically, you start off with the ads, uh, percentage based. These ads are the same ones that um, block certain spell types. So, for example, there's the ones that do fire, magic, you know, ice, blah, blah, blah. So melee and such should be burning on the ads. This way casters could do caster stuff. Uh, if you notice, when you start with Swarm, there's no auras, right? So this is the biggest thing here. You're not dealing with auras. You're still dealing with the runaways. Uh, very important uh, tip here. The people that get emoted to run away are going to be the people that have high aggro on Swarm. So... If your guild or raid has not many tanks, try and tell them not to DPS the boss and not use too much AE aggro. They won't be emoted to run away. That's a very important thing. Uh, in my guild set where I raid with, we try and get the bards, beast lords, berserkers, monks high on aggro so that this way the tanks don't need to run away. Anyway, as you see, this is going down quite quickly because there's no movement needed, right? So that, that's really a big plus here. Um, if your guild's DPS is strong with AEs and such, just burn off the top. Melee will just kill all the ads, AE Rampage or whatnot. Uh, casters need to be a little conscious on which ads are up and just continue to kill. And this will go on for a little bit. Let's see if we could skip. Okay, Sworn is about to die. So if you see just there, all right, let me go back. Right here, I set uh, the, my top on extent to Raid Mark 1. And the reason why is I always like to Raid Mark the Executioner for the last guy. And you, you'll see why later on. Anyway, back to Sworn. Should be dying soon. Always focusing on the ads because you want to deal with less ads when the next boss spawns. It's going to be the same percentages as if you were doing it the other way with Nivolta. Okay, so now Nivolta comes. And now this is where the raid gets um, a bit different. Okay, so same thing here. Nivolta has the red ring. Everybody out. If you're strong in a heals, you can heal through it. Everybody stacks in, control the bomb, everybody out, now the bomb's there, tank positions himself or herself out of the aura, but keeping the Volta in to get the achievement. And then, now this is just business as usual, but as you see, bears spawn. Bears will spawn every 20% and another set like really towards close to death. So we're trying to figure out here where to tank the bears and whatnot. Uh, again, learning, because it's the first time we're doing it. And basically we said, you know what, let's just tank the bears away out of the red ore, just so we could deal with it. One strat that we're considering if we're to do this again is just stay on the boss and eat the red circle and just burn the bear and AE heal through it. Again, depending on your raid force, um, either strat will work. 
All right, so not much exciting or different. Again, adds every 20%, kill the bears, go back on the boss, rinse, and repeat. Let's fast forward a bit. Okay, here we go. The vault is almost dead. And then the last boss spawns. And again, you notice there's no color ores to run around with. So that's the trade-off is you got to kill bears instead of moving around. These bears, they're chunky. They got good amount of hit points. Um, I would say about a little under 700,000 uh, hit points each. So they don't die quick, no. All right, so on the last guy, um, we believe the ads are time-based. So like the same intervals when the auras spawn, uh, the bears will spawn approximately. So again, you're trading auras for bears. So at this point, if you have burns, where you're hypothesizing it's going to be the best time to use it, so you deal with less ads. You will still need to deal with the hidden barrels, so the pets are always out. And then the traps will still spawn after 50% and you still need to deal with the executioner. So going back, you see how I marked executioner. Uh, reason why is it never shows up on extended target and it makes it easier for casters and melees to target. This way they don't miss target, maybe click the traps or whatnot. So we're here, we're like, hey, why don't we just tank everything by the executioner? So we decided to move the entire raid over here so that when the executioner spawns, we will kill it uh, as quickly. So what I was saying earlier at the start of the video, this method, this you know path is really good if your raid DPS is strong, but don't move well. Um, killing the adds definitely makes the raid longer, but as you see, it's very user friendly for movement wise and the execution response and you see it just gets demolished before it reaches because we're the entire raid is here and no worries about it all right not much changes at this point basically the bears are i believe timed and we just rinse repeat no movement needed killing executioners at spawns And I think this will definitely go quicker um, next time we do it because we didn't really burn off the top. The traps were up, so we say always, you know, no more AEs. I think the melee said that they get like three burns in or something silly like that. Like... But again, we didn't really optimize the burns because we weren't sure what to expect. So I think at this point we're like, say, screw this, just off tank the bears and kill the boss right after the executioner. And then, da da da. So if you're strong tanking, just off tank them and just kill the boss real quick. And the bears do despawn, so you could even kite them. So that's another tactic. If you're strong and kiting, just kite them outside. Or actually, you know what? I take the back. We don't know if it, they tether or not, but if someone wants to try and kite them, that'd be cool. Or make laps in, inside the keep. That will definitely work. Anyway, so that's my video. I'm sure a lot of people never done it this way or never even knew about it. So it's not bad. Depending on your raid force, it may be better for you. All right, thanks all, and hope people enjoyed this, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.